Welcome to the the Smack Up podcast. I can't believe I'm gonna have to ban the soundboard. Who's well, that jumping out the sky? A R E Y D D O. That's his name. That's how you spell it. That's Randy. Randy O. Here we go. After us yelling about uh, uh oh. Randy jumping out of the sky, he did in fact come out of the floor like Rey Mysterio, exactly. and went on to tirade his uh his main event at WrestleMania. He said, "I don't need to jump out of the floor. I don't need nothing fancy." I don't but he need did to wear do it a mask anyway. Because I'm not ugly like Rey Mysterio. I don't need to wear a gold medal like Kurt Angle. I don't need to defend my country. Randy does believe that, by the way. He feels he doesn't have to defend his country. But we'll get to that another time. Which Basically lambasting lot. his <laughs> fellow matchmates. Uh, Randy says that last Saturday he had the chance of making history against Roz, John Cena, and Triple H. He says he had John Cena beat, and then they pull up the clip, and he says, but this is what happened. And it shows Ray pulling him off him. Yeah, because Randy cheated. Who was pulling off Randy? Ray. Ray at Saturday night's main event. Oh, my God. You remember that? I do. That was was a thing we watched. (laughs) It was bad. Unfortunately. (laughs) And Ray was pulling off Randy that night. Also, welcome back, Nero. Yeah, I was, like, uh, deathly sick last week. Hey, yep. guess what? You didn't miss anything. It was can terrible. A, can we get a quick no. recap of what you thought about the smack up oh, bits? That was god awful. I, I don't understand how they could go to Detroit and put on a show like that. And I don't understand how they people made people pay for, pay money for that. They did, and there was only two matches. And that's fucking it. I, I can't imagine going to that in like 2006 and watching it live in person. Yeah, wrestling was in a really bad state and should have been shut down forever by the United States government. It's not too late. It, it, the only reason it wasn't is because of tribute to the troops. Everybody salute. Oh, oh. yeah. Did you guys see CM Punk at tribute to the troops this year? Yeah. Yeah, he said, remember when I punched people backstage and everyone was just like, what? What yeah. are you talking about? I never watched that show. Those uh, extremely those... casual marks were like, huh? Oof. I thought there was there was like somebody in that crowd that reacted. Somebody very, went, the, the one the one guy. Ooh. It's very bold to also it. say that when you threw a chair at someone's face. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, someone definitely kicked his dog. <laughs> no, he didn't throw the chair, bro. That was uh, <laughs> that was that was what's his face? That was uh, that guy's um, wife, the no, bite man. No, he that did, guy's no, he wife. Someone. The bite the bite man's wife threw a chair. He bit one of the bugs. Yeah. On, what was his name? Uh, Mr. Mr. Ace, Jaw. Ace, Ace Steel. Ace Steel Jaw. Yeah, he's, he's on. He's Donald on heat right Trump now. At some point. Yeah. No, he's on heat Ace. right now. Yeah, he's also Donald Trump at some point. Woo! Next year, we'll get there. Wow, I can't wait to get there. Ace anyway. Steel threw a chair. Yeah, but he'll oh, never hey. be. He'll never be on Velocity like Ace Steel velocity. and his wife threw a chair. <laughs> Don't, never don't be listen Randy to the liars. Is the most important thing. Oh, yeah. Randy says that at Mania, it's going to be the greatest day of his career, and he tells the audience to feast their eyes on the next World Heavyweight Championship. Just a small sidebar here. I, I Did anybody know who A. Steel was when Punk brought his dumb ass out and was like, no. this guy's bad? Yeah, no. Like, no. No, no. I was like, I was literally like, who the fuck is this schmuck? Why should I care about him? And he cuts like, a promo about how he believes in punk, and I'm like, why should I? Why should I care? Wow, the meth head brought a crack addict out. Yeah, I'm surprised. Well, who else would they have brought out? Punk I don't doesn't know. have any real friends. I mean, Colt Cabana. Oh, his I mean, epic, his lay epic wife. I mean, Bolt Banana. I saw a video actually of Sam Punk's wife making out with Brian Danielson. Nice, that was awesome. That yeah. happened on TV, and then Sam Punk was like, oh. Anyway, come I mean, have you guys heard real the stories boss. about about CM Punk dude back in the ECW days that we're gonna cover soon? Oh yeah, yeah, right. CM about... Punk was a fucking lunatic back there. He was going crazy. He was acting like it's the NXT locker room. <laughs> <laughs> Does NXT have a locker room? Yes. Somehow. That's insane. Have you heard? They go crazy back there, bro. I mean, it's like a bunch of twenty-year-olds. It's like the it's like the Olympic athletes, bro. Ty's like, God damn it, I gotta cut all this shit out. No, this the is NIL is in, That's dude. crazy. This is important. Keep it in. I'm I'm not NXT I'm taking stuff. out the chew cast though, so I'm just gonna be I'm gonna be muted. It's like I'm editing. I'm just listening to y'all talk. 
Let me let me edit, cut out edit Joe's. Is high. Let us let us get a glimpse of Shawn Michaels' Instagram feed. Yeah. For recruiting like, purposes of Lexus Can I get a can I get the Oh hell no and then everyone shut up? Lexus King, bro. He broke off his engagement. He knew what he yeah. was doing. He, he, he saw Lash Legend and what he had to do. <laughs> Alright, so Sean Michael oh, yeah. defeats looking pretty pretty bleak. <laughs> Wait, who who <laughs> in the <laughs> NXT locker room did Lexus King get with? I don't know. I don't know that it's been confirmed that there's anybody he's gotten with yet, but he's definitely preparing. Well, who? Why would someone want to get with Brian Pillman Jr.? He's probably riding off his dad's coattails like he usually is. No, dude, he's not anybody's junior anymore. I oh, was, yeah. That's why he's a registered Lex offender. I watched the, uh, <laughs> the premium live event. The PLE. Just, Can we talk him, about that? Him losing, and he was like, Ha ha, you dummy, I did it to get put on the pay-per-view. And I'm like... That match yeah, was that, dog shit. That, that's an that's that's a, that's a, <laughs> average Brian Pillman Jr. promo. You fell into my trap card. If you make Carmelo Hayes look not good, then you fucking suck. Because that dude is like I mean, actually like a star. I'll say the match was fine. It was you know? not good. I thought it was fine. Like, it, it was wasn't fine. bad. I think it, it was, was funny fine. seeing the Reddit coping. I don't feel strongly one way or another. I just think Brian Pillman Jr. is mid. Yeah, he's very mid. And then just seeing him get jabronied on a pay per view and like. Also, we minutes. need somebody to like tell him, talk to him about his lineup. Yeah, he cannot <laughs> be really going out there up. looking looking Puerto Rican like that. Yes, yeah. his like Dominican a... barber went a little crazy <laughs> on that one. <laughs> you guys are really painting his face but... on. In the words of a future Sopranos character, he looks like a Puerto Rican whore. So true. Uh, uh, he looking like a guma. Goomba? A guma. Like one of Tony's gumas. All right. We'll get to a Sopranos cast soon. <laughs> hey, all right. Yeah, yeah good one, Joe. Somebody, everybody, get, somebody everybody, get me for this flailing bit. Joe, how do you everybody, feel about didn't it? Didn't Joe just make a good joke? Didn't everybody? Didn't Joe just make a good joke? Editor Ty's about to set me up dirty for when this I'm, one. When I'm not. And I won't stand for it. <laughs> In seven months, will we find out what, what I did with this? <laughs> Edertai's going to have a headache by this point. I mean, like, get the kill, fuck out of the show. So, yeah, Randy Orton fucking s- just says, hey. Who's that jumping out the sky? I'm done with Randy y'all. I'll see y'all at the pay-per-view. Hey, 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 hey. We got the last chance battle royale. Who's going to be in the Money in the Bank match? We get Ooh. we get the Juan Deers. We got the Juan Deers. We got the Juan Deers. My boys are out there what? super crazy in psychosis. And we got a Road Warrior animal. The Gemini were out there, guy. Yes! And Simon Dean. Eminem, this is my match. Lashley, Funaki, our boy. Funaki, he's just like us. We're just like him. Sylvan, what a Funaki. Gracio. What a Taz match. Says, uh, Cause Eminem's in here. Taz says, you know, if we were in a tag team, Cole, and it was me and you, he's like, I would destroy you. Hold on. Damn, so let's, I got the he's list so of, real for that. I got the list of uh, meat here. So let's go through the list of names that we never see anymore. So we got... Yeah. Uh, Robert Lashley, we got right. Brian okay. Kendrick, the Lizard Man. We got Funaki. Uh-huh. We got Jake and yeah. Jesse Gemini. Hold on, Brian Pillman? No, he's not there. Jamie Noble. Oh, okay. oh. Kid Cash, Mercury and Nitro, the WWE Tag Team Champions. You got Nunzio. You got Orlando Jordan. Paul Burchill got a little pirate entrance. Paul London, Psychosis, Road Warrior Animal, Scotty Too Hotty. He's still alive in this time. Simon Dean, super crazy. Tatanka and uh, me and Joe were watching this live the other day, and uh, we we were about like eight minutes in the match. We go, "Who's that?" And they go, "Sylvan's getting his ass beat." And I'm like, "Sylvan, it's Sylvan. Sylvan's here." Sylvan, <laughs> but hold on, real quick, we need to address the elephant in the room, which is Nunzio. What's wrong with him? Yeah, he's got graps, dude. I you know, I could you believe. Guys watch that video I sent. Nunzio's a real life badass, dude. Yeah, dude. What the fuck? I couldn't imagine in a million years that Nunzio had a real grab. Dude, go, go watch his ECW Nunzio matches. Nunzio will ankle pick you, bro. Go watch his ECW matches where he was like in uh, the triple threat matches, and he would just dog on people. It was so good. I want to see Nunzio and Pancrase. That oh has my. to exist somewhere. What are we going to do at Pancrase cast? It's coming. Anyway. 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 Uh, the, main, the WrestleMania big time moment. <laughs> Big time. Is Andre, what are you uh, talking about? We didn't even finish the match. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, so, fuck with you the Battle Royale too, Naram. Don't worry. Fuck this Battle Royale, bro. <laughs> no, but they show the WrestleMania big time moment before the You're Battle right. Royale starts. Oh, okay. You I'm idiot. sorry, I got burrito on the mind. I'm sorry, guys. Jeez, to the bro, audience. This boy, got bur- God, this boy got burrito brain. Somebody take him down. Take me down. I- I- yeah. wait, wait. I'm going to choke you like Andre fucking choked out this dude. I'm just going to Google Who is this yeah, Editor Ty, put it on. Put it up there. Yep. Video of you being choked. Show a really grainy video of Andre the Giant choking this man out. Big time. Really, really grainy so we don't get blocked in Zimbabwe. Larger than life. Right. Carmella, can you get Guy's just making his spicy? life harder right now. Oh, what'd you guys think about Enwell coming out, though, and having his very sad speech? He was, like, ranting and raving to himself the whole time. This is a boomer speech, pretty much. Yeah. He said he's a bigger... He said he is money in the <laughs> bank. He's made more money than everyone in the ring, which I don't believe that. I uh, do. That, I don't know. The shoulder that. pads were huge, bro. They, they they were huge back in the day. The shoulder pads were massive. Uh, but the Jim and I probably are getting the big ass paycheck. Come the Jim and I are getting paid a lot for sure. They've really earned it. Yeah, it was it was a decent battle royal. It was nothing to it, but you know, it was fine. It was fine. Again, I stand by I, my I, opinion. There is no good battle royal. They all wish, they all suck. They're I wish all bad. Gemini would have won. Listen, Stupid we match fancy type. booked. Yeah. We fancy booked it. It was Gemini, you know, tag teaming against, uh, you know, everybody in the battle ro- or in the Money in the Bank match. It would have been cool to have Jake and Jesse grab the fucking briefcase together and held it up. Everyone would have went crazy because Gemini is the most over group in that company. I don't go. Why dude, they're not going dude. with this shit, dude? Funny thing here too that I noticed. Uh, so when Paul Birchall's coming in, he throws his like beads out, mm-hmm. and then Taz is like, Taz tells Cole, he says, uh, "You should go catch those beads." And Cole's like, "You know what, Mardi Gras, you got to show a little something to get beads." And Taz is like, "Oh yeah, what do you got to show, Ty? What do you got to <laughs> show to get beads at Mardi Gras? What do you got to show? Um, what do you got to show? Who that jumping out the sky?" As a certified uh, New Orleans fan, you know. Them tatas. Anyway, Bobby Lashley. You gotta show balls. What do you mean, Bobby Lashley wins? Them them tatas, huh? Listen, I gotta gotta pull pull down the pants, show shaft and ball. I got really like that there. I got a live. Yeah, it'll work. Joe, plastic dollar store beads. During the match, Joe looks into the crowd and he says, "Is that a Jim Cornette sign?" Holy crap! Why would they have a Jim Cornette sign? Two thousand six. We were watching this at like three in the morning. Hold on, hold on. You go two thousand six. Why would they have in 2006? Wait a minute, that's Eddie Guerrero. Yeah, that was Eddie Guerrero. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was that one picture of Jim Cornette. Yeah, the black and white one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. See? So, you know, here's what I'll say. Maybe you just don't watch uh, 2006 SmackDown at 3 a.m. You'll you'll feel better. You'll sleep better. You'll wake up refreshed the next morning, and you won't have to turn a fan on while you sleep. And you don't have you to have your phone will... on silent because they're calling you at 3 a.m.? You will be sussy if you watch SmackDown at 3 a.m. 2006 JBL is calling you at 3 a.m. What are you going to do? Brother. Bring out the hammer. 2006 Crystal is calling you at 3 a.m. What are you going to do? Same, Brother. same answer. Brother. <laughs> but yeah, if it wasn't without a doubt, Bobby Lashley kills everybody in what, the ring, gets that win. What's What's 2023 Crystal like? Do we know? Go on Instagram. Oh, you're about to be uh, stunned, pal. Oh, yeah. In a good or bad way? In a you great way. Well, well, you told me, Pete. You What's her me. name, bro? That kid just said Crystal. You can. <laughs> it won't come up. Crystal Crystal WWE Instagram. It'll pull up somewhere. The Crystal aggregate. Marshall, dude. All right, I'm, I'm working. It's not doing anything. Is it Crystal okay. with a K or a C? Okay. okay. It's not pulling anything up. Somebody needs to link me. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on Crystal Patrol. Hold on. Holy. Crystal Marshall Watch 2024. It's not 2024 yet, damn. Yep, there it is. Yeah, come on, guys. We Copy got... and... What, like some 21 days? There you go. Bojan Bombshell. 83. Bojan oh Bogdanovich fan. Holy shit. Yeah, all right. right. Hey. Yeah. We're doing Same. good. Things are looking all right. Yeah, Tell Bobby me about Lashley, it. You fucked up. <laughs> you fool. And someone on SmackUp is going to capitalize on your mistake. Speaking of which, JBL shows up, and he's uh, with Crystal. And Jillian's nah, there. Nah. Jillian's there, by the way. Remember Jillian Hall and JBL being together? They're together. Yeah. 
don't know where that came from because she's been gone. Yeah. JBL, Crystal asks him like a question, and JBL says, shut up. Shut the fuck he up! Says, woman. He says women should He, he doesn't talk. say woman. He does. Well, he says... What does he, he say? Says, he tells her to shut up, and he says, just stand there and look trampish because you're a woman. <laughs> he, says, he says, stand there and look like a bimbo. <laughs> That's so rude. Then he, JBL, you need to be stopped, pal. He pulls up his hand and goes, "I cannot compete tonight because I want to. I want to beat the shit, dog shit, at Chris Benoit for what he did to his family. But I can't do it tonight because my hand hurts. <laughs> so I got, I got my boy William Regal here to do it for me. He and then William Regal says, says, "I know what happened." <laughs> <laughs> so JBL, so Regal then told JBL. So JBL knows. That's exactly, exactly. what happened. But uh, he says, JBL says Austin also broke his nose. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, well, you gave him the stunner and it busted him open. Uh, Regal also makes like a hand signal and he looks at Jillian and he's like, call me. Get it, buddy. Get it, buddy. Uh, <clears throat> so at this point, uh, my wife was sitting behind me playing her Sims and I went to the bathroom. I went to the bathroom. I come wife. back and Peacock, like I paused it, but apparently it didn't pause where I wanted it to pause. And I come back and Mark Henry is just zoomed in. And it's all <laughs> it's, the whole fucking screen. It's the picture you keep sending us. And it says, learn, do you? And I said, what? <laughs> what do you mean by that, Mark? <laughs> Mark. And so he, I'll put it it's on a screen. a Yoda-esque quote right there. I'm going to put it up on screen for learn, everyone who's uh, watching. But yeah, that, that's, that was a terrifying thing to see. And I went, ah! And yeah, then he, like... He they breathed really heavy. It. They recap what happened on Saturday night main event. Yeah, also, because they know nobody watched it. Yeah, Davari died, dude. They show Taker hitting the tombstone. And God, like just how they show it and the sound it makes because it's not hitting like the coffin. I'm like, man, no wonder this man's knees are just so fucked. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's pretty much saying, you realize what you have done? Do you no. realize what you've done? I'm not. I'm gonna. You know how many people I've broken? Batista, he's dead. Angle, he's crippled. Davari, he's broken. You know what? Taker, I'm gonna break something that means the most to you. Your streak. Ooh. Undertaker. What if it was you? What, what if, if it was you, Taker? What if it was you getting a tombstone pile driver on a casket? Huh? But he says that's not gonna be you tonight, though. Yeah. What if it was uh, you jobbing out to Brock Lesnar in ten years? <laughs> Listen, I think we got blessed right after because then we have Hump that jumping out the sky, R E Y. Against Fit Finley, and that show was great, man. Yeah, it was a good match. Was, good match. It was fun because they're both two very different styles of wrestlers. They gave him time. The 15 minute mark didn't feel like 15 minutes. And uh, it had a good payoff at the end because it furthers a storyline. And uh, that RKO to Ray was disgusting. I like jumped. I was like, "Oh, yeah." Well, like the first like five minutes of it, where Ray was Ray trying to get like into it, uh, but Finley, uh, being the tactical brawler he is, was just keeping him down with hammer locks, Irish it's just because and he loves he loves to fight. He's, he's <laughs> a really Irish bastard. He's, Sources he's, are telling me his name is Finley. He's a uh, he's a body lock specialist. Yeah. He really knows how he, to keep a guy down. He stunned Whoa. the fuck out of Taz, or I, it was either Taz or Cole. I think it might have been yeah. Cole. He did the he picked him up on his shoulders and did a front flip, and uh, I think it was Taz. And he goes, "What was that? What was that? Like he did like a flipping Samoan drop? What was that?" It had to have been Taz. Cole doesn't know what a yeah. Samoan drop. Is. <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> I'm like, holy shit! I really don't remember seeing that before. At that point, but you know, like Kenny Omega does it nowadays and shit like that, and just bizarre Finley doing it to most, to Ray. Most yeah. of the match is just Ray getting his ass beat. Oh my god! When he when he threw him out the ring and he puts Ray underneath the fucking like ring itself, oh, he puts dude. the apron over and he starts kicking. I was like, holy crap! Yeah, <laughs> that was really cool because like he sets Finley up for the six one nine, but he gets like out of it by getting out the ring. So Ray just instead transitions to like a baseball slide. And when he tries to go over the top rope, Finley just like pulls the apron out and Ray just gets caught up in there and he just starts kicking the fuck out of him. That was nasty, man. I yeah. thought the match was really good. You know, SmackDown, come on. 
But guess what they got for us tonight, too? Not what? a tag team main event. Oh, so, my God. Are you kidding me? So we got some good shit today. Oh, yeah. More importantly, I guess, wait, that's later. We'll talk about it soon. Yeah. Yeah. The next thing that we get to, I, I'm not going to talk about it too much because Raw sucks and we bleed blue well, over well, hold here. on. We got to to finish. Yeah, Finley goes to grab his shillelagh, and the ref is like, whoa, 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 you can't do that. Little Nate Hi, uh, gets pulled in. That's cut out. The... <laughs> 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 what do you mean by that, bro? That's... <laughs> editor type, put that back in. No, put it back in. Damn you, editor type, put do that back in. Do not cut that. Where are the bodies? Little L- 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 Nate stop his fin- stops Finley's uh, hi attempt. Hey. Um. And then Ray uh, attempts to hit him with a <laughs> springboard. Uh, but here comes RKO out of nowhere. Randy Orton slides in, hits him with a clean one, and slinks out. And Finley's just like, oh, cool. Goes for the one, two, three and wins it. The best Finley match we've seen. And uh, um, I love it. It was a good match. The best Finley match where Finley uh, didn't get uh, uh, nearly murdered. DQ'd or it's died. because it, the match actually ended. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. The match had an ending. Yep. And you know what? The thing is, it's like Finley rocks, and I'm glad he's finally starting to get it again. Yeah, get he a was, nice decent groove here. He was doing some cool shit in that match, man. Just like, I did not expect Finley to be hitting stuff like that. Finley's sick. Yeah. You should watch his NJPW matches, dude. Yeah, I've not seen that. I've seen his WCW stuff, but not his New Japan. But yeah, but there, what do you want to talk about? You want to talk about Raw being shit? Yeah, Raw sucks. But <laughs> they show the Raw rebound and they recap. The, the McMahons versus HBK. And there's so much colorful paper falling out the sky. Oh, yeah. That happened. All right. So that happened throughout the whole show, mind you. So all that confetti just didn't stop. Yeah, there was so much confetti. It, like, <laughs> it made for a cool shot. I can't lie. I think that's kind of like lost in modern day like wrestling just because cameras are too good. So, but, so the problem with that segment is they started off with that, and then the rest of the show was just uh, everyone bored. As I told Joe yesterday, so uh, like Sheldon Benjamin had a really good match with Ric Flair and Rob Van Dam. The crowd didn't give a shit about it. They were just quiet. That's the quietest I've ever heard in the like, arena. Well, look, where I go, the money goes. And wh- as soon as I left Rod down, uh, Mama... Shelton Benjamin was out of there. I think. So, yeah, they cut it. What are you going to do? I think these were filmed back to back because we're in the Raw Stadium and we're in Memphis. Yeah, yeah there's, no, there's no fit. Yeah. yeah. So strange. I think they did mention it was in Memphis, so could have been a back to back thing. So, Probably because they're a week away from Mania now, maybe. Nine days. Peter Gabriel, thank you. We're so much larger than life. I'm just going to sing it every time. I can't. So for Mania, we need to learn all the lyrics and sing the song, right? Yeah, we're going to we're gonna oh, yeah. make it uh, whatever glow. So much larger than life. <laughs> um, yeah, Teddy Long is coming out to the ring with a contract in his hand. And this I was, was like, there's a there's a contract signing. Like, what the fuck? Like, what are we what are we contract signing? He brings out Booker T. And then they cut back to Saturday Night's main event, and they're like, hey, your fucking dumbass knee is uh, working, pal. Get your ass in here. He's, uh, yeah, he's like, I he talked to all your doctors, and they said there's nothing wrong with Booker's you. Booker's like, my, like, my oh, bad, man. I'm sorry, Bo- I'm sorry, Teddy, man. I didn't, I, you know, just my, my leg's been hurting. And Teddy's like, shut up. I know what you've been doing. I'm not letting you get away with this again like you did with the United States title. I'm signing this contract, and you're going to be fighting Boogeyman. At WrestleMania, and, but I'm gonna give you a partner. And Booker's like, "Oh, thank you." He's like, "Your wife!" <gasps> oh my god! What? Oh. And Charmel starts crying and screaming. Genuinely looks terrified. And Booker's like, well, "Ah!" Well, we nearly we nearly had a, a a character shift here, right? Because before his mystery tag partner is announced, uh, Teddy Long gives him the proposition. He's like, "Booker, you will fight the Boogeyman at WrestleMania." But I'll be nice to you. Uh, it will be a handicap match, and your partner will be one of Teddy's choosing, of my choosing. Um, and Booker's like, "Okay, man, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of you, Teddy. I'm gonna fight him." 
I'm gonna fight the boogeyman. I'm gonna be done with it. You better give me a good partner. And he signs it. He signs the contract for Teddy, and Teddy says, "Okay, playa, your partner at WrestleMania will help you fight the boogeyman, and that is his wife, Charmel." And Charmel just ah! freaks out. She just loses it. The She's funny terrified part, of the boogeyman. The funny part too is that Booker's also like, "I'm gonna do it. Look at my wife. I'm gonna do it to protect her." And then Teddy's like, he's a man's right. man, dude. Yeah. He also says, if you don't fight the boogeyman, I will fire you. Oh, yeah. So there was a, a, a threat here, which I feel like you can probably take that to court and sue the WWE for Booker. Some wrong with yeah. You can talk yeah. about that later. I, th- I think I his, mean, his, he is, his he is technically time. being harassed, you know? Yeah. By an eldritch being of sorts. I'm honestly surprised boogeyman didn't show up at all. He's just being haunted by your average, like, Louisiana man. He was, uh... Looking for worms. Yeah. He ran out. He ran out at the main oh, event. Oh yeah, yeah. Night. yeah. He couldn't get off uh, Bell Street. There, he just went a little crazy eating worms off the street. You know, eating worms off the street, huh? What's wrong with that? Oh, yeah, it's probably rainy. It's probably really yummy too. Those Memphis worms. Yeah. Do you think? Uh, do you think Lovecraft in like a racist fugue state ever thought of the boogeyman? <laughs> <laughs> probably. I like that I could, he, he probably was envisioning him at some point, you know, and then was like, "Wow, he's so I'm... scary! He's so scary! I don't know what skin he's color." He's so scary! Is. He's so scary! His skin color is so ambiguous. His <laughs> his racial identity is so ambiguous. He's so scary. <laughs> he might be extra scary because of that. I don't know. He's so scary. Oh, I don't know. You don't know if he's white or black. I'm you could me. never you could never envision his actual race. You'll never be able to know, and that's what makes him so scary. Editor Ty is gonna be pissed off in March, dude. When he had his... Editor Ty <laughs> is gonna release this. The door! Qu- <laughs> Editor Ty is gonna release this piece. There is nothing wrong with anything I just said. H.P. Lovecraft was a racist. That's a non-controversial statement. If Editor Ty Why takes this bit out, really? then we know where Editor Ty stands. Yeah, fair enough. He's so much larger. But than I think this. I think Pete needs a reality check because the Miz is oh, here dude. and he's on oh, yeah. he's on spring break. He's going to spring break. Woo! Fun you think fact. he's getting beats? Uh, yeah, probably. Fun fact about the Miz: Did you guys uh, did you guys know that the Miz main evented at WrestleMania? What? When? And CM Punk didn't. That's crazy. That's the most <laughs> fucked up thing. That Fuck just shows you why the Miz is the goat, man. I'm telling you. That's why he's the goat. The goat. Miz is a family man. Something All right, listen. We have to. This is this is what I was gonna bring up earlier. Huh? We've, we have the the did the did he know match of the night. That's right. Uh, oh yes, that's right. Because well, Chris, Crispin comes out all all juiced up, jacked up, mm-hmm. uh, and out Run comes with out him. looking extremely French Canadian. Only yeah. the second the worst US thing champ. a French Canadian has ever done. That's right. Quebecer, get out! Not, get out of our company, Quebec. Not only are we getting Benoit versus Regal, but when Benoit comes out, Cole says, "Talk about a reality check right here." And I was like, yeah, "Oh right. no, did you know?" <laughs> Michael might have known. Like, did Michael know? Uh, I thought it was hilarious that JBL comes out, and they're all yelling about JBL, and William Regal just comes out of the fucking limo with them. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, "What are you? T- <laughs> why are you all Trends riding together?" Like, oh, that's why JBL's coming out. He gave I don't get it. Ride. They didn't know well, why was... he was coming out. They're yeah. like, "Oh, hey, R- Regal's here too." <laughs> why? Why would he not come out? I mean, he hates Benoit, and he wants to see the guy he hired beat him up. Why would he not yeah. want to see that? I guess so. SmackDown is sponsored by AutoZone. Oh. Lucky number 11. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And the Nintendo DS, guys. Touching Nintendo is DS. Good. And <laughs> Peter way. Gabriel. Those fucking lights. I was watching this with my wife, and she's like, gotta turn this off. I I, I don't want epilepsy. Because <laughs> that shit was From fucking. It, Chris Benoit's theme was like going, prrr, like all the spotlights. And then it was like, sponsored by a Nintendo DS, and I can't even look at the DS like logo because I'm getting blinded. Hey man, well, that's a you as, problem. As touching is good. You just hear Cole go. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. I never thought I'd hear Taz say that. Touching this, is good. The old DS slogan. This match was also pretty good, but it was short. This match is if it's exactly what you'd expect if you think Benoit and William Regal wrestled each other. Yeah, yeah this is one of those matches that. Uh, 
Twitter accounts that post gifs of, of like segments of wrestling matches would definitely hit up if Chris Benoit didn't do what he did. Pretty much, you know, a lot of suplexes, a lot of t bo- Oh, the fucking regal t bogging uh, uh, Benoit on the floor was nasty. Like, you hear that sick thud, and then William Regal gets up and goes, I don't want to comment on it. He's like, <laughs> all I have to say is that Chris Benoit was a good is wrestler. one of the best wrestler. And that's it. Do well, not have anything think, to say more than that. I think William all Regal I have had to some part this time. to play into what happens to Benoit. And hear me out, guys. Hear me he out. hits him with the exploder, and then uh, he just he kicks him in the head right after, and yeah, that might have been the one. Still post. Yeah, and I was like, that has to be the one. That might have been the one, and that's why R- R- William Regal knew. <laughs> also, Benoit chops the fuck out of Regal's face, and that just looks like it hurt. <laughs> one day, one day, one day, you'll all see the episode that we filmed. The p- <laughs> one day. Well. well- in the end, you guys will get to pick Chris one Law of us gets him in the Crippler crossface <laughs> and just makes William Regal tap out about five minutes. It was a good match. Very short. It's, it was sweet. Yeah. I wish it would have been longer because he's. But are you telling me, you telling me William Regal didn't win off a chicken wing? Yeah. Hey, man. Sometimes you got to get in the crossface chicken wing. Into the dragon suplex. Yeah. He wasn't beating Benoit. Benoit was too natty at this time. Before we the thing get... is, like, we, this match definitely sh- should have been longer. It would have been a banger. It already was kind of a banger. This is easily my favorite match of the night. Whoa. Hey. Lamella, can you please shut the door? <laughs> we, got, we got the big time here because we got the Mania card to go over. Guys. All right, let's hear it. Let's hear it, Ty Caliber. Okay. Yeah, WrestleMania rundown. Oh, do it as shit. fast as okay. possible <laughs> if you... I'm, I'm gonna time it actually. Card. How fast do you think you could do this? Um, I could do it in like I give you minute. one minute. Okay, here. Let me let me get up the card first. I'm taking the over. Someone <laughs> play the dynamite theme. Okay. Oh yeah. Do you have a bot? Do you want just the SmackDown or the entire card? The whole thing. All right. The whole thing is the big <clears> time. <throat> uh, let me see if there's anything that wasn't announced. Looks like everything's been announced. Okay. All right. Are let me know ready? when. Yeah. Yeah. All right, now. The main event is John Cena versus Triple H in the WWE Championship match, followed by Tori Wilson and Candice Michelle in a Playboy pillow fight, followed by Shawn Michaels and Vince McMahon in a Note Holds Barred match. Undertaker is going to take on Mark Henry in a casket match. Trish Stratus defends her WWE Women's Championship against Mickie James, while the Boogeyman and Booker T and Charmel are going to have an intergender uh-huh. handicap match. Edge and Mick Foley are going to get hardcore and pummel each other in the middle of the ring in a hardcore match. Chris Benoit defends his United States Championship against JBL. You got the Money in the Bank ladder match with RVD, Lashley, Finley, Matt Hardy, Ric Flair, and Sheldon Benjamin. Big Show and Kane defend their World Tag Team Championship against Carlito and Chris Masters. And our main event, Kurt Angle and Randy Orton and Rey Mysterio for the World Heavyweight Championship this Sunday. Next Sunday. I think that's it. What's the time? Uh, you got in at 53 seconds. Good job. Oh. Fuck you, Fuck you, Joe. And I, I even added you... a little bit on the fucking hardcore match too. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you got you, some ad libs. Those were good. That was good. Like, yeah, congrats, everybody. Like would be proud of you. Everybody at home, give Ty a little something, something. Hey, you know, hey, send him some money. Jonathan, Coach check out his cash app and Joey Styles. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, make your cash app in this one. All right. All right. Yeah, cash app is. <laughs> you guys hear that? Yep, I heard. Okay, it. sweet. You're good. Yep. And it's just Joe saying Shelton Benjamin. Shelton <laughs> Benjamin's mom. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. It's time for the main event. Kurt Angle, <laughs> the world heavyweight <laughs> champion versus Mark Henry. Um, this was better than the Royal Rumble match, at least. I mean, that's all I can really say about it. That's because we knew this one was going to end in eight minutes. Yeah. Yeah. But I think, hold on, we gotta go, fucking, we gotta go back. Royal Rumble, how long was that? Too long. It was too long. Felt long. I think this was longer than their (laughs) Rumble match. But it felt long. Nine minutes and 29 seconds was the Rumble match. And nine okay. minutes and twenty seven seconds was this match. Oh it was around God. the same time. Jesus. <laughs> so that, so that, so was Angle, definitely better then. So Kurt Angle definitely threatened Mark Henry backstage for this one. <laughs> yeah. Don't you he fuck said, this Look, up? If you give me another Royal Rumble match, 
I'm gonna break both of our necks at the same time. <laughs> he said, "If you don't, if you don't end this match at least two seconds faster, I'm going to kill us both." In the I, ring. I'm so scared every single time Kurt Angle decides I'm gonna suplex fucking Mark Henry because Kurt so Angle's cool, body though. just fucking crumbles underneath as he tries to it's do the it. The coolest thing in the world. He hits it though. It's very cool, but man. Yeah. Yeah. Kurt Angle, can you get the door? <laughs> angle, can you get the door? Uh, Henry Henry splashed both the fucking angle and the ref, and that also was hilarious. Uh, let me run down this uh, bit, and we'll we'll get this match over with. Angle gets in this l- angle lock. Randy Orton comes up from behind. He tries to RKO him, but Rey Mysterio comes out and uh, does the little uh, senton off the top rope and uh, hits Angle instead. And I laughed really fucking hard. Oh angle's like, no. Bro, Rey Mysterio just teabagged Kurt Henry. Angle. Henry Gears of War rolls in and does the the fucking splash and gets the win. Uh, Angle gets up and he starts blah 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 blah, blah at Ray, and uh, Pi faces him. Uh, Ray gets a six one nine on him. And Pie Randy face, you his, say? That's what. Yeah, that's what you do. You you, thir- he, you he put, Pie faces him. Yeah, you, you say put your hand in your face. Yeah, but isn't that uh? Never mind. You know, it just reminded me of something that happened recently. Oh, do you tell? <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's not important. Just an event that happened in London recently. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. yeah one, one, one jungle boy. Oh. Oh, I see. One cum man, one jungle boy. Some yeah. Pie. Cum pie face. That's cum real pie face. ass. Yeah. <laughs> um. It was fine. It was a fine man. You guys event. aren't cool, man. You guys suck. You I'm sorry. Like I'm leaving. <laughs> you left me with Cleveland pizza the other week. Fuck you. <laughs> Dude, I don't remember that at all. You also left me with the last episode with Montreal blowjob, and you guys let me let me sit on that. <laughs> Naram would have laughed. <laughs> you, you hit me with a with a nasty one earlier, so I don't care. I was eating. And I couldn't help it. it. I would have been there I... for you. <laughs> Montreal blowjob and Cleveland pizza. <laughs> Cleveland pizza. All right, dude. Yeah, come on. You you deserve that. Have you seen that segment? Never talk about Cleveland pizza to me again. Okay, fair enough. Did Naren fall asleep? Do we have to wake him up? Naren, no, hey, 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 wake up, dude. Sorry, we're, I was we're past Mark about, Henry. <laughs> I was dreaming about CM Punk. Heard angle. Uh, oh, understandable. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, show was fine. Yeah, it was, it was all right. It's one of the better SmackDowns recently, I'd say. It felt like it flew by, and that's always a good thing, because Raw feels like I take 10 years to, to record that. We didn't have any multi-man matches to, to bother the shit out of us. We just had the Royal Rumble. Battle yeah, I mean, Royale, I mean. Yeah, I, just... I knew I was watching, or I was enjoying this, because I usually watch these in like parts, and I got to like about 40 minutes before I took a break. That's not that's bad. That's pretty thing. good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I mean now now it really feels like the triple threat match has got some skin in the game, you know, because Ray and Kurt are always like, hey, you know, you're doing that, and I'm doing this, and I respect you, and this and that. But now Randy's kind of got him, got him a little twisted up, you know. Damn. I like it. Yeah, Ray hidden. I popped a little bit when I saw Ray fucking hit Kurt with the six one nine. Yeah, that was awesome. I was like, you let him know. Hey, man. Yeah, and then Kurt, and then Kurt after the match is like, "What are you doing? What are Get you out doing? of my match!" And then he shoved him to the ground and pushed him like eight feet away. That's the power of an Olympic athlete. It's juiced up. It's true. Few oh. know about this. Shout juiced out. up and perked up. Got a quick shout out to to one of our homies named Jake. He bought a bucket hat for Smack Up. No way. He, yeah, he, Smack Up. I don't know if he wants. Smirk, I don't know if he wants me to post the picture, but. I mean, look at that! Look at that! Look at that bucket hat, man. That's pretty cool. I can't. Oh, you, okay. You didn't post the picture. Get your mm-hmm. merch today. Get your yeah. merch. Get... Redbubble.com Dude. forward slash you don't have to do this. Hey, Link man. in the description. I'd say like and subscribe. I would say it's do very me a favor. Good. Do me personally a favor. Go buy some CM Punk shirts on the WWE. Don't shop. do that. No. No. Yeah, no no one that. wants go that. Buy, yeah. Don't go buy that. some. Go on. No. The, Go go to your local Hot Topic and buy the last CM Punk shirt that they have from AEW. Do that too. Oh. <laughs> CM Punk's Monday Night Raw promo was so boring, I almost became a Young Bucks fan. 
<laughs> That's unfortunate. I'm so oh, sorry. Dear. Are we? Do we have anything else to talk about today? Uh, uh, I'm oh Rio. yeah, Lucky number eleven. Yeah, is apparently a decent movie. Are we? Are we putting that on the pod? Oh. We're gonna have to watch it. Okay, I had an idea. And that in twelve rounds too, because AD it's it's a C. So yeah. by the time this episode drops, it'll probably be around February, right? So hear me out. Really? We're gonna talk about, I'm... huh? Really? February? Uh, huh? I hope so. You're that lazy? February. <laughs> Your, what do you mean? Your work, ethic, your work ethic's that bad, Tyler? I think Smack Up Episode Seven's coming out this Wednesday. So it'll be about 14. Wow, I'm, just, really, I'm just busting really, your balls, buddy. Really but but I, really think we should do, I think we should do a Spider-Man, Sony Spider-Man Universe podcast. Oh, my God. Where we where we go over each uh, movie. And there's only three movies. And then we got Madam Web coming out in th- no, right. we gotta start. We gotta start with Venom. We gotta watch. We gotta know. We gotta go back and watch the Tobey Maguire movie. That's not a part of the Sony Spider Man verse, though. Yeah, it's, it might be. It's not. They are I Sony promise movies. You. They're they not. Are, they might be. You never know. They haven't confirmed or denied it yet. Yeah, we know. If you look Spider-Man at and if Spider-Man. you look, if you look at the picture in Morbius, it's a picture of Tobey Maguire Spider Man. See, that's so. the funny part because it's not it's supposed. It's supposed to be Andrew Garfield's universe. I know, but it's Tobey <laughs> Maguire Spider Man. So you know, like, guess what? doesn't matter. We're going to watch all of them now. We love it here. We love it here on Smack Up. Yep. We've only gone 40 minutes. <laughs> Sorry, it was a pretty it was a pretty quick episode over like the Smack, episode of Smackdown itself. So, the, you know, there's really not a whole lot to talk about. It's really just like, hey, let's set up WrestleMania. If you want, we can keep making references to things that are completely extraneous, but Yeah, I'm going to get We it. already did that enough, I think. I think I got a question a piece for everybody. Narum? Yeah. What's your favorite Kingdom Hearts? Uh, Only one game is applicable. Probably two. Two? Okay, the Joe. One. What's the only yeah. good Mega Man game? And you can't say none of them. Ooh. The one that's your least favorite. Can't say that. <laughs> but, also, but, also, but also none of them. No, you can't say that, dude. Wow, wow. Joe, Joe okay, loves okay, Mighty okay. Number oh, 9. Oh, Joe oh, loves oh. Mighty Number 9. You guys are here first. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Damn. Okay. Uh, Mighty Number no. 9. Mighty Number no. 9. And Pete, worst Metal Gear Solid game. The worst? A survive. And there you have it. You've been smacked That's up. It. What's Smack the worst game? Metal Gear Solid? Metal Gear Solid? Solid? Uh, that's, that's a tough question. Let me think about it. I got. I need There's a few minutes. Be four, right? I really like four. I don't think four is a bad game at all. I wouldn't say it's the worst either. I, I think I, five is techni- is like the consensus, just because. But of like how the all gameplay of five out. is just so damn good. Yeah. Yeah, but can good gameplay save a game with like no story? If the story's really... there. You just have to listen to fucking audio tapes to, to get it. That's what I'm saying. So if the can the gameplay save a game with no story? Well, the games barely make sense anyway, so yes. Me me and Joe sitting inside of Denny's as I explained the full plot of Metal Gear to him. <laughs> it's not a shit post. It happened. It's real. Buy your shirts. We're making shirts of that. We're going to do it again at Jollibee. Yep. I kept it going, guys. <laughs> uh, what is the worst uh, mainline Metal Gear Solid game? Uh, Portable Ops. But they they might, count. I thought that was like maybe, maybe not mainline. It's questionable as to how canon it is, but I'm going to say it is because it gives me an easy answer. Okay, which one's the actual confirmed canon worst one? Fuck you. Uh, <laughs> uh, Peace Walker? Yeah, I'll say Peace Walker. Okay. I like Peace Walker, but I, I mean, it's a PSP game. Yeah, at the end of the that, day. yeah that's a fucking. Uh, you got to listen to it. Isn't yeah. the uh... you gotta play Peace Walker and then you gotta do all the Monster Hunter Peace Walker quests to finish the game? Didn't they remake Peace Walker or something on the PS3? They just did a remaster of it. They didn't oh, remake does it. it still play like a PSP game? Yeah. Uh, no, I mean you have full camera controls and everything, which is cool. I mean the gameplay is great. It's basically just Metal Gear Solid Fives but simpler. But the problem with it is is that you have to play like. You have to beat the game, and then you have to really beat the game in order to get the actual ending of it, which is, like, necessary to know what's going to happen in the next game. Kind of silly. Don't you have to also play the game in the notorious claw grip playstyle? Probably. I mean, it's been years since I played it on the PSP. 
Smack there's also baby. like a no 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 oh keep on. it going i'm okay. not done yet okay keep I'm it going keep it going there's also a mission where you fuck a um minor so hey wait <laughs> hey hey wait wait, 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 wait. <laughs> is that how we end it's, it so we it's end heavily it. implied no. that the, the, the big boss has sex with a minor or what's they, implied they to be a minor hey go hey hey pause get in the love box with me hey smacked up and so <laughs> yeah. is kojima okay 